Well, hello everyone. I hope you guys are having a great day. Shantae here. So welcome to another Die Hard Wednesday. All right, so you guys probably know by now this when me, Betty, who is Scrap Passion 01, and Markeisha Staple M1, we get together and use our dyes because we have a love slash addiction slash obsession <laughs> with dyes, okay? Well, for me, among other things. All right. So, um, this week, it will just be me and the wonderful Betty, Scrap Passion 01. Um, some of you guys know, may not know, but the wonderful Markeisha Staple M1 lost her father. And she is very close to him. So, you guys lift her up in prayer. And also, contact Betty to send Markeisha a sympathy, I mean, a, yeah, a sympathy card as well. Um, you know, just let, so, let her know that we all care for her, okay? All right, so what else can I say? Um, check the description box below for what you need to know. And also, you guys know to comment on me and Betty's video to be entered into a chance for a giveaway. Also, um, check, check Betty's channel for the winner for the month of May. All right? She announced the giveaway winner today. All right, so Betty challenged me um, to use a dye that we had alike. And so we happen to have Tim Holtz tag dye. So let me show you what I did with that. So I went outside of my zone. Yes, I'm very hyper today. <laughs> so the first Tim Holtz um, tag dye that I have is the tag and book plate i haven't used this in a moment let me zoom in some more so i haven't used this dye in a long time and i think he re he re-released these dyes as thinlets if i'm not mistaken which is what i prefer all right so i used that dye and another dye that i used let me find it because i got so many is whew, so many dyes, y'all. So many dyes. Okay, so another dye that I used was Pink and Main Thanks dye. Um, I use this Echo Park Everyday. What is it? Electric, eclectic. I think it's eclectic. Paper pad. I'm bad with pronunciation. No shame in my game. It is what it is. I use this Tim Holtz um, thin right here. This is at Hobby Live. I just purchased that before I tried to um, stop buying so much stuff. And I use these dies right here from that I got from HSN through the auto ship for the little machine. And I use this die right here. I've been had this for a moment. And I've never used it, this Tim Holtz die right here. And I love this one because it cuts into the paper instead of traditional die cutting. All right, so this is my tag. Oh, let me show you this. I also went out my element with, like I said, with colors. I use, I may spray the background. Linden Stamp Game, California Poppy Gold, Heidi Swap, Georgia Peach Baby, Recollection, this spray, and this spray from Recollection for the first background so here's my colorful tag right here i love the background um like i said this is out my totally out of my zone and i also use those seed beads that are at michael's in a dollar fifty bin so there you go you can see where i cut out right there and where i use the darker color the spray i love the way the background was is um, the thing with me with trying to do any type of spray break background and trying to dive into mixed media, the backgrounds are so pretty. I struggle with, I struggle covering them up. So I didn't put any spray anything on the off the dye pieces because, of course, I want the background to pop. So that's that. That's that tag. <clears throat> and what else did I do? The next one, I use this dye right here. Tim Holtz. What is it? Um, tiny tabs and tags die. Okay, that's how that one looks. All 
All right. And this is the little tag that I made with that. And I used the um, Victorian Park paper collection. And I also used this tag die right here. I mean, this die right here. Got this from um, Hobby Lobby as well from Tim Holtz. Okay. And this is the little tag right here. Again, I sprayed the background with the same. Once I sprayed this one, I just mopped this and just rubbed this one in it to get the excess up. So this is ready to go on the card or something. Um, and just to put a sentiment on here. That chip piece came from this chipboard piece right here from Tuesday morning. All right. Next up, I use this tag die. These hey, I'm I'm telling you, I have not used these dies. I don't think I, I, out of the three, I think I only used the book plate one twice. Tim Holtz tag and tie. So this is this one. So I use that and chip pieces. These are the sprays I use for this one. Recollection, recollection. Tattered Angels, Recollection, and this is My Lavender. <clears throat> For that, and where's the collection paper? And I use this same collection again, this one. And I made a card. And out of my elements, you see why I cut the background in? That's using the same one. Right here. I just used a different one of these. Like I said, these are cool. So I used that. And uh, you can see I shimmered up the tag and everything. And the chip pieces. And then this is the inside right here. So that was the last thing that I made from that. And I just used yellow... Um, sheer ribbon from Dollar Tree. Okay, then I was in the mood. I'm just in the mood for color today. All right, so next up, you guys remember this kit I got from Paper Tree Ink? I just bought it, the Make It Market kit. So I used the actual card base that was in that, and I made some little note cards. So on the first one, I used this paper right here. And then I use his Our Daily Bread Christian Faith Collection. And I use these pieces right here for my card. I showed this already. The little fish background piece. The cross. Crosses. Another cross. More crosses. And I love this. You see all them different colors that's in that paper? That is so cool. So I use that this collection for my cards and then I use this oh, I think I showed it already all right so moving right along so I use that die the next layering die is Gina, Mar Gina Marie stitch swears I use that so the first card I made is this one and this is using the hugs I got from Simon says stem. Like I said, this one is huge, sort of big. So I had to do it at an angle so it'll fit on the card. And you can see the crosses and stuff. Sometimes you just need a hug. You just want to encourage somebody with a hug. So that's that one. And that's the inside. Use my scallop punch and that fish paper back there in the back. Love this little die. And then my second one is this one. I use this Faith by Simon Says. Just bought that one as well. You guys know. This is the second one right here. And you see the crosses in the back. It just says Faith. And that's the inside. See the other paper. Alright, so you guys. Um, like I said, to be entered into our give giveaways. Um, just be um, subscribed to me betty and marquisha's channel um but for this week just leave a comment on me and betty's video and um also um you guys let us know do you love dyes are you a die hard fan um do you love dyes you never know 
with my extra joints. So just let me know in the description box, I mean in the comment section, if you love dyes. And yeah, you like I said, you never know. All right, so we will ask you to join in with us to sh showcase um, dyes because we all love them, have them, and yet collect more. All right, so here we go. One, two, three, out of my element, four and five. Okay, for Die Hard Wednesday. So I'm off work today. I'm so excited. I'm so glad to be off, but I'm not going to get any rest. But yet and still, I don't have to be on somebody's clock, so I'm happy about that. So you guys have a blessed day. Check out Betty. Um, and I think that's it. I hope I haven't forgotten anything because, you know, I love to talk. But that's it. You guys have a blessed day. Bye-bye.